So welcome everyone to a short tutorial. Um, I'm going to be creating a very basic rig for a box. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, we need to be in modeling mode. I'm going to select these polygons and I'm going to go for a cube and I'm going to enlarge this cube. Just scale it up. And using the W key, I'm just going to take it up. Now, I'm not going to be really precise with this. It's just really just to show you a quick, quick and dirty way to get some animation going. So I've got the basic size of the box there. I want to just press Control and D again. I'm going to use this just so I've got the overall measurement for all corners. Then all I need to do is just sort of scale this down there now. So basically, this is going to form uh, the lid of the box. Okay, that's all good. Now, just to give the impression uh, that it is a box, I'm just going to do a little job on here. It's going to go to right click, face, and I'm going to press Control and E. And I'm just going to just create a little offset and click off, click on again, control E and use local translate and I'm just going to create a dip there just so it kind of has the approximation of being a a box. I'm going to turn on x-ray because I don't want the geometry to go too far down so as you can see there I'm just sort of taking it yeah, just to run about there, just so it doesn't um, go all the way through the floor. If I was going to import this into a game engine, it would cause problems. Well, particularly when I'm, you know, obviously when I've done the UV uh, mapping and all that. Anyway, so that's all looking good. I'm not doing anything fancy here. I will put a material on both, but I'm not going to be applying anything, uh, anything more fancy than that. So I'm going to go to object mode and right click and I'm going to go to material attributes. And I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to color this red. And for this one, I'm going to make a new material. I can just put new material on both of them. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to make this blue. If it'll let me. There we go. Okay, so that's all good. Ready for the next phase, which is uh, doing our animation. So I'm just going to turn on the X-ray tool there and just get that just approximately in in that kind of zone there, just so it looks like it's a it's going to be a lid opening up. That all looks good. So next, I'm going to press spacebar. I'm going to go to the side view. I'm going to hit X-ray again. Now, there's a few things I do need to do. So first of all, I need to combine these two. So I'm going to select the bottom as well. I'm going to go to or back to modeling, mesh and combine. Then I'm going to go to edit and delete by type and history. I want to make sure that the model is centered. So if I just kind of go back just to the perspective view, yeah, that all looks good, dead on. Uh, if you go to the channel box, I'll click on there, sorry, they should be zeroed out. And with all that in mind, with it uh, combined, with uh, the history deleted, and with it being centered, we are ready for the next phase, which is to create the bone system. So I'm going to go back to side view. And I'm going to go back down to rigging. I'm going to select rigging there. I'm going to go to the joint tool there. I'm going to click on the corner bottom left, top right, and again, if you just go to the select tool, you want to make sure that these are centered, so they're not off, you don't want your animation looking peculiar. 
Same with this as well. So that all looks good. Okay. And we're about there. Okay. So uh, one of the things you can do if you don't like working in X-ray mode, you can go uh, back into the normal view. If you don't have this highlighted already, I've got it highlighted, but you'll need, so your view might be like this, you'll need X-ray joints selected, yeah, just so you can kind of see through. Now you will, depending on which window you're working in, you will need to have, obviously, change the settings for each each one. So I've already get it, got it set up in that, so that's fine. And um, yeah, yeah, we're good. So we're ready for the next phase. We've got the joints. Now we need to go to naming the joints. So I'm going to select this bottom joint here. I'm going to call this root. And then I'm going to go to the other joint here. I'm going to call this opening. So that's all named. And I'm going to select the entire joint. Select this. I'm going to go to skin and bind skin. Before I do that, though, I want to go over to the right there. Make sure that it's set at two. I've got two joints there, so make sure it's, it's set at two there. The rest of it you don't need to worry about, and go to bind skin. So that's now uh, connected. If I press W now and move that, you'll see there, that's great. So that's working. I just press the control Z and go with that. So we are pretty much uh, good to go. Next phase is doing the skin weights. So I'll need to go to the face mode. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to double click on the lid. So even though these are combined, you can still affect them separately. And this is crucial. Make sure you've got, <coughs> excuse me, make sure you've got control selected. Right click on your mouse. Two vertices, and you want to see these yellow things. <clears throat> you don't just want to try and right click and go to, uh, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. You don't want to uh, go right click and just go to vertex. So you want to make sure that's selected. Then you want to go back to skin and you want to go to paint skin weights. Okay, I'm going to bring that up. And it's the opening that we're dealing with. So we want to select open. You don't need to worry about any of this. This is the bit that you need to select. Select uh, flood and that will turn white. Then all we need to do is need to then repeat the process with the bottom part. <clears throat> so you select, go into face, double click on that. So make sure that the face is selected. Remember, control, right click to vertex, vertices and select. Then back to skin weights. Now we want to go to root, right? Because this is the root. Same deal again. Go to go to flood. Okay, so if I just scroll back up to the top, now you'll see the root and the opening are both solid. Yeah, both fixed. Okay, great. So press Q to bring us back into our normal view. I'm going to go to object mode. And now look at this. If I now click that joint there, and press W, lifts it up. Yeah, so that's all great. That's all super connected. Good to go. So now we are ready for the animation. So the animation. Here we go. Dead simple. All we need to do is we need to, first of all, in our timeline, so you can see there, I'm using... Um, uh, 2000 and, uh, 2016. I do believe in the 2018 version you'll need to adjust this so you can uh, set your times because it for some reason well on the copy that I've got it doesn't uh, have that so there's probably something in the settings perhaps someone can leave a comment in the uh, comment section below how to adjust that so this is why one of the reasons why I'm using 2016 and I want to set the point so I'm going to just hit play and kind of go okay I reckon around about there yeah, that's a good place to start. So I'm going to hit S to set the keyframe. Yeah. Next, I want the opening. Now, 
at the moment that's due to run out at, um, after 200. I want to probably set this to around about 1,000, just so it gives me a bit more real estate, as it were, and you know, so uh, so I've got I've got a bit more time to play with. So I've got that set there. So that's where it's that's where it's opening. See that? And let's say that's where I want it to open. Yep. I want it to open there. Now you can go a number of ways here. You can either go press the E key and rotate it this way. Of course you can do that. It's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Or if you notice when I'm doing that, you'll see there on rotate X it's in the minus, minus 28, 28, 23. Now if you want to get it to go up to a right angle, all you can do is go minus 90, bam. Yeah, it's there. And because I've got it over in the timeline here, I hit S, yeah, and that's all set. So if I now play that back, I could actually scroll back, back and forth. Can you see that? Now we're good. I'll just play that through. Okay. So what goes up must come down, right? So we're going to reset this. And again, really, really simple to do. So opens up, pause. And now I want to set the um, set it pressing S for the pause. And then for the rest of it to close down, I'm going to hit play again to around about there. Yeah, it's around about 350. And then in order to get it, get it back into the position, what do you think I do? Any guesses? Yep, you got it. Just zero. Hit enter. Bam. And then press S. Yeah. So now when I go back and play it back, opens up, pause, closes back down. The end. There we go. So anyway, hopefully that's been uh, helpful for you. Nice, short and sweet. Uh, if you like the video, uh, be sure to give me a like. Uh, feel free to leave any comments in the section below. And um, that's it. Stay tuned and look forward to seeing you next time. Okay.